The overall goal of this procedure is to assess the dose-dependent proportion change of tumor cells in a culture containing both tumor and non-tumor cells. This method provides a genetic-based tool for assessing in vitro effect and specificity of anti-cancer drugs. It has application potential in drug discovery and in personalized cancer care. The major advantage of this method is that when an anti-cancer drug is tested in a culture containing both tumor and non-tumor cells, the response of the tumor cells can be separated from that of the non-tumor cells. Demonstrating this procedure will be Ina, a technician from my laboratory. Begin this procedure by culturing both tumor cells and fibroblasts in standard DMEM medium at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% carbon dioxide overnight. At subconfluence, harvest the cells with 0.05% trypsin and count them using a hemocytometer. Afterward, mix 400 tumor cells and 1600 non-tumor cells together in each well of a 96-well culture plate with 0.2 milliliters of medium and set up four replicates for each drug concentration. Incubate the cells at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% carbon dioxide overnight. Then, prepare the stock solutions of nilotinib in DMSO at 0, 2, 4, and 20 millimolar. <laughs> 